تور بود but you loved me I love my mommy yes I do <laughs> look in the camera be adorable okay look who is this bushy who is this bushy who is this bushy oh who is this baby skin who is my baby skin who is my love who is my love don't bite mama hello this is your mother and today I have a special guest on my channel it's our new French Bulldog puppy her name is Luna she is so cute and so adorable <laughs> right baby? Oi, oi, oi. Um, so I, I really I never felt with my dog so I'm kind of nervous I don't know how it's gonna go if she will want to leave we'll let her leave but as of now she she wants to be with me and she actually was crying for me when I was doing my makeup so I'm giving my child what she wanted, okay? So I decided to make this video to introduce to you guys our new French Bulldog puppy. I must say this is my very first dog. I never had dogs before so everything that I learned now I learned for the first time. I did my research before we got her so you know I came prepared. It's not like I didn't know what I was signing up for but I must tell you everything you see on the internet and then the reality hits you you realize that you will never be prepared until you actually get a dog. So yeah. So as I said, her name is Luna. She's a French Bulldog puppy. She is currently two months old, but in a week she's gonna be three months old. So we got her actually on her second month's anniversary. I don't know, like. So she was born on June 15th, and we got her on August 15th, and on September 15th she's gonna be three months old. So it's been a month since we got her, and honestly, she was so much work this whole month it was crazy so much was happening and i had to learn a lot about having a dog in the house and i had to get to know her better and you know she's very playful when she is with her daddy but when she is with her mommy that's me she's very calm i think because i'm a very chill person so she just gets on my level and she loves just sitting on my lap and in the morning I drink coffee with her on my lap and I love watching like something in the meantime so it's like perfect morning together bonding time so because it's my very first puppy and my first dog I'm gonna be telling you things that I've experienced but I don't know if you have a dog or you had one you're like yeah obviously like that's normal um, dogs are a lot of work and I'm saying it as someone who never had a dog before we walk her five times a day we give her food four times a day she loves biting things and that's why we from the beginning we got her playpen she sleeps in her crate as well uh, and the good thing is that she actually was crate trained the breeder the person that we got her from was crate training her so crate was okay for her but playpen um, was something new for her and we decided to get a playpen and i'm so happy we did because honestly you, you guys can't see her she's so down there i probably should readjust camera because i know a lot of people love watching these videos just to see the dog um so we decided to get playpen because i did my research as i said and i saw so much information that you, your dog like eats your furniture you know and i was like yeah I don't, I don't really want that and besides they can get hurt easily because they don't understand yet how the world works and they're so small and they want to touch everything so after explaining to my husband that i would love to get a playpen he agreed and we got the playpen and it was honestly the best investment because she literally bites everything like i'm gonna show you her toy uh and what she did to it wait a minute look at this like she did it this morning look this is how the other side used to look like and now this is the end of it look how interested she is she did it all by herself you guys 
This is why we can't leave her in the house without playpen. But of course we don't leave her in the play playpen for too long. We basically, oh now she wants that fucking toy. Oh my god, what did I do? Luna! My boy, my baby skin. Oh, who is my cutie pie? Who is this cutie pie? Who is this baby skin? Oh, I love you so adorable. I'm so adorable. So every time I leave the house, of course I leave her in her playpen, but when I'm around her, I let her go out like she just is with me. So I'm like walking with her in the house. Oh, is that Babachka? Did Babachka come? Oh, is that Babachka? Is that Babachka? Do you want to go meet Babachka? So usually she is in her crate, in her playpen, but when I'm out and about like in the kitchen because that's what we have her playpen and her crate I let her go out and just chill with me but she never is chilling she's always trying to eat something so like that's the only reason why we have playpen obviously she wouldn't be a puppy and she would be a big dog who wouldn't like chew on things um, playpen wouldn't be a thing you know she really wants to go I'm gonna let her go you guys but this is cuteness overload for you Bye bye baby. Say bye bye. So she she wants to play because her papa chica, her daddy came home. So she loves him so much. You know, I'm like she likes me, but like her favorite is the daddy. So she's daddy's girl. So I'm gonna let her be happy with the man of her life. We basically didn't have any other issues with her rather than like trying to potty train her. And it's not like an issue, but she just pees a lot. I don't know. No one told us that like they pee so much like we kind of thought like oh you know like first week we're gonna explain to her that you only pee outdoors we would praise her when she would be peeing outside and we were like so so naive we actually thought we bought like 50 um pee pads for her and we were like we're not gonna use them at all like we're gonna be going out with her five times a day there is no way she's gonna be peeing inside Guys, she pees inside, she pees outside. So she pees a lot, she pees in her crate, and I really hope this is just a phase and she'll go through it and like, she'll learn that she only needs to pee outside. Uh, but she is ready to be like outside. We have her pee pads on the balcony, so she goes there to pee as well. She pees on, in her crate. But I think like she's slowly getting better, but I'm not sure. Like I really, really like, hope it's gonna get better. But the good thing is that she never cries at night unless she has diarrhea because a lot of people were like oh they cry at night they want you with them we keep her in her crate at night and she has no problem with that she goes to sleep and she doesn't care about us at all like maybe only first night was when she was crying for us but as i did my research i knew that all we have to do is just to not come when she is whining and later on she stopped whining for us unless it was something with peeing or pooping and we didn't get it at first we thought like oh she wants us and our attention because sometimes she still does that and then turns out she actually had diarrhea so she was in pain you know i'm not the perfect dog mom i'm still learning so please don't come at me for not knowing that she wanted to poop and i thought she just wanted our attention because there's no way of knowing that when you just get your dog first but like now she she never cries for us when it comes to her food we used to give her kibbles for french bulldog puppies uh, but then she had diarrhea so we had to look up look up what to do with that and we had to switch her to rice and chicken diet once we go back to kibble she again has diarrhea so we went to the vet and they prescribed us medication for her so hopefully slowly we'll go back to kibble i don't know maybe she'll never eat kibble but we already bought like three kilograms of kibble so we must use it as well so hopefully she'll be able to eat kibble be a low maintenance dog but this is a frenchie we're talking about and from my research i learned that they're super high maintenance dogs like there's so much about them they are allergic to things thank god we didn't have that yet like we're really taking care of what she eats but the other thing is that she picks up everything that's on the floor so walking with her is so crazy she literally wants to eat everything she finds all the things outside interesting she puts them in her mouth and she chews them and we just like 
we we're fighting with that, but you know, it's really impossible. She just jumps on those things and she starts munching on them and we're like, when did you even have time to do that? Like you were just sniffing something and now you're chewing something. So this is another thing that I'm like, oh my god, please don't die because I'm so scared she's gonna eat something she's not supposed to. But I don't know, so far like she's okay, but it's really, it's so annoying, I'm not gonna lie. Especially like walking with her takes forever because she stops to sniff everything. Also she stops for people to pet her, she loves people, she loves dogs. So she wants everyone to pay attention to her. She jumps on other dogs because she's like, hi, I love you so much. And some other dogs take it as like her attacking them so they kind of bark at her sometimes and she's still like what did i do something wrong so it's really it's really funny and she's really cute so walking with her is another like every single time is an adventure you know and sometimes i just want to do it quickly because i need to go somewhere and she like takes her time so i'm like <sighs> brief layla <laughs> okay what else haven't i covered i didn't talk about very interesting part and that is I'm not quite sure but I feel like I am kind of allergic to dogs so the thing is I was babysitting my mother-in-law's dogs and that's when I realized that I started sneezing when I'm around them for too long like on the second or third day I start sneezing my eyes get watery and itchy and I was like, damn, am I allergic? But like, I actually um, got tested for my allergies and I'm only like 0-10% allergic to dogs, which is not even enough to be as an allergy already. So it's like, yeah, something about dogs, I'm like 10, 0 10 allergic to them, but not really. So when we decided to get a dog, I was kind of scared, but I was like, you know what? Uh, I'll do my research and I'll find ways how to make it work and actually I can like make another video talking about it like how to have a dog if you're allergic um, but I had to do my research and there are a lot of things that we had to implement and start doing from the beginning so for her it's like normal so basically we wash her every two weeks and I don't know if that's a lot for some people because I know a lot of people just wash dogs like once a month I know people that wash dogs even less than that which I find crazy because I think that's just anti-hygienic and like there is no way me half Asian person would have a dog that's just dirty walking around the house you know my Asian mom raised me better than that so I would either way wash my dog a lot but because of my allergy uh, we decided to do it once every two weeks. At first I thought like once every week, but then, you know, I read and I heard some people saying like, oh, it's crazy, like your dog will develop like sensitivities. But first of all, we found this amazing shampoo that's 100% natural. It has like oatmeal and everything. I actually already filmed Puppy Haul that's coming after this video next week. So you guys stay tuned for that and I'll show you all the things I got for my French Bulldog puppy but um, that shampoo is there as well so that shampoo is like so natural that it does not irritate dog skin and I feel like these days it's not like back in the days when dog shampoo was basically like chemical shit in a bottle you know now it's like so much better than that and we bought her like really good shampoo so don't worry about her health we're not gonna you know if we'll see that something is wrong with her skin obviously we would stop it but everything is okay we do it every two weeks but lately we're doing it every week because she brings something dirty home or like she puts dead mouse in her mouth that happened yep so like we need to give her a full shower because she stinks after that and like nothing wrong with her skin and everything seems fine and also I use special dog wipes that smell amazing everyone's like oh my gosh she smells so good but it's because of those dog wipes that we got and so she always smells nice she's clean and I actually am not sneezing at all but I think on the second week like after we washed her uh, I start getting 
a bit allergic again so like first week is perfect I'm like oh my god I'm not allergic at all but then second week I started getting kind of allergic so I can share with you guys steps that I took to make living with my dog while I'm a bit allergic to it to her uh, easier so if you would like that I can share with you that also we brush her a lot so like this whole my dog's hygiene thing deserves another video because it's really it's about me as well because we do it this way because of my allergy but also I just want to take care of her like you know it's like pamper routine I love doing that for my dog I don't want my dog to just walk around stinky you know no shade no tea but I just I want my dog to represent me because it's part of my family so I want my dog to be cute and smell nice and be clean you know and lastly, I think what I didn't cover yet is training. We already started training our dog and she's so smart, she's amazing. She already knows sit, come, uh, down. Down is a bit like she still doesn't get it. But she knows paw, so she gives us her hand. It's so cute. I'm gonna actually insert these uh, training videos so you guys can see that I'm not lying. Our dog is smart. She's only two months old, but she already got it all figured out. Luna, come. Good girl. Good girl. Come. Oh, yeah. Yes, baby. Say hello to the camera. Say hello to the camera. Luna, come. Good girl. Say it. Good girl. Yes. Luna, fall. Good girl. Yes. Luna, down. Good girl. <laughs> yes, baby. Luna, sit. Good girl. Yes. Luna, come. Come. Good girl. Yes. Yes, baby. Luna, sit. Oh, paw. Good girl. You give me a paw. Luna, down. Good girl, my love, yes. Luna, wait. Good girl, here you go. Good girl. <laughs> so we always have snacks in the house to train her because otherwise, Frenchies, they are so motivated by food like if you have food they'll do anything to get it and at first when we just introduced kibbles to her she was like kind of like not into it but now she developed taste for food and like she loves her snackos she loves her chicken with rice so and we also train her weights so when we give her food she weights because at first she was crazy when we just started giving her chicken and rice she would jump on us to get her food and it was kind of aggressive so we had to train her from the beginning wait so she waits and she's so good at it and then we say go and she goes and eats Luna wait Good. It's really amazing how much you can teach your dogs. They're so smart and they're so adorable. So when they actually learn things, it's like, oh my god, you get it. You're like a human, you know? So overall, I can tell you guys, having a dog is very stressful, at least having a puppy, because you need to teach them things and they always want to be with you, but at the same time, they pee everywhere and they chew everything. So you're kind of like trying to teach her not to do that and to praise her when she is a good girl. So it's like, it's a full-time job to be a dog mom and I never thought that's a thing. Like I thought, you know, dogs are just cute and that's all there is to it but there's so much more and um 
I'm not gonna lie, the first month was very stressful for me, which is her second month, but for us it was first month since we got her. I'm just happy that now our family is a family of three, my husband, me, and our doggy, and it's so cute to imagine all the years we're gonna spend together and all the holidays and you know when she'll become a big girl and she'll stop chewing things and peeing everywhere we'll be able to you know remove the playpen and crate and you know she'll be just a free dog and we can just lay together watch a movie because right now it's really impossible you guys saw she wants to go she wants to explore she wants to eat things i put this camera and she started like trying to chew the tripod so i'm like nope not happening so our princess came back for all of you french bulldog lovers i hope this video <laughs> inspired you to get a french bulldog if you didn't want to get it before um i never wanted a french bulldog but my husband did honestly now that i have french bulldog i love them every time i see people on the street having french bulldogs or like on social media i'm like oh my god we're part of the club you know french bulldog club so I love her so much like she's such a sweet girl she's so adorable she is well behaved already you know she loves us she loves cuddling um, and you know she barely barks which is amazing I hope this will be forever the case which I think Frenchies only bark when they're actually mad like when they're unhappy about something so I think as long as she's happy she's quiet and we love that oh baby so that's it for me for today. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. She wants to go too. If you like this video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel to see more of me and Luna <laughs> together on this channel. Um, what Did I say subscribe to my channel? <laughs> Comment down below if you have a dog or if you want a dog. If you love Luna, also let us know. We want to know, right? Because she loves people. So please love her. Because she loves people. <laughs> Thank you, guys. I love you. Bye. Say bye, Luna. Say bye. Say bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs>